Oh crap. Team, welcome back to another video. So this video is gonna be a little bit different, but it's the one that you guys have been asking for for a long time and I've kind of been putting it off, but I'm finally actually gonna go and do it. It's gonna be a gear video. I'm gonna show you what I use. You guys, a lot of you guys have been asked for it. It's pretty popular. Copular, hmm, that's interesting. Fairly popular theme in the questions and comments is uh, what kind of gear do you use? what rigs, what this, what that, whatever. And my kit is at an absolute mess at the moment. So I'm gonna kinda use it as an opportunity to tidy up my stuff, get my, get my crap together. Two birds, one stone. The reason I'm making this video now is because I don't actually, I didn't get to film a video this weekend. I did fish, I fish with a, um, I actually fish with a subscriber, a dude, Andy Burden from the US. He's been a long time YouTube subscriber. He was coming out to New Zealand. He was keen to hook up, go for a fish. Unfortunately, we, uh, we did, we saw a bunch of fish, we had a, some really good fish reject the dry fly and a bunch of other cool stuff went to some really cool water. I had a good time, pretty sure he had a good time, but we did not connect on anything and I didn't really make a video. I mean, I could have made a video, should have made a video, I don't know. That's also another thing that I wanted to ask you guys is, do you want to see a video regardless of the outcome? Like, you know, because you don't catch fish every time you go fishing. Hopefully all you guys know that, you definitely don't catch Every time you go fishing, you always expect to, but you never can 100% guarantee that you're gonna catch fish. So yeah, leave a comment below if you wanna see videos of just the grind of fishing, even when it doesn't go smoothly or what, it, you know, just go and fish and not catch fish. Cause I can still make videos like that. Still do it. Let me know. Oh, and I've got another couple other things to share with you at the end of the video. Some pretty exciting things, very exciting for me. Hopefully you guys find them exciting and hopefully it actually gives us an opportunity to our uh, meat and fish together. Maybe, who knows? Because I'd love to do that. Anyway, first things first, I gotta find all the bits and pieces, all the gear that I'm gonna show you. Yeah, all right, let's do that. This is actually gonna be a real challenge. Maybe I should list the rods I don't currently have because I've broken them. Man, I don't know about you guys, but like, I, w I can go, like years without breaking a rod and then all of a sudden I break them all at the same day pretty much. It's crazy. I literally just broke another rod getting it from there to there. Let's start out with that rod actually. So this is one of the rods I definitely use the most. A cross loop cross S158. As a sick little rod I use it everywhere. I use it with a 200 grain OPST head. I use it for nymphing, I use it for dry fly, I use it for heavy nymphs, big roll casts, all sorts. I use it for everything. Real multi-purpose. I just I just use it for anything. I don't actually know how I did it, I just got it out of the truck like this, I swear. Here's my tip, just uh, sitting down here. What the heck happened? Really sorry Grant. Definitely a rod I'd recommend because it does everything. Like I catch big browns in the Tongariro on this. Everyone seems to think you need an 8 weight to fish the Tongariro, my probably, the rod I use the most is a 5 weight. The second rod in this category is also a five weight. That's brand spanking new because I had to replace it because I lost it. So I literally just got this today. So this is the new, well the, not the new, it's been around for a very, very long time. And uh, it is a sick rod. I would never be without this rod. Like I will always own this rod because it's freaking one of the greatest ever built. It's so good. Again, I kind of use it multi-purpose. But generally, like this, what I love to do on it is dry flies and light nip rigs a long way. I don't actually know if Luke's gonna make this rod anymore. I don't think there's many left in New Zealand. I'm not sure if it's still in production or not. So if you get your chance, have get your chance to buy one, I would uh, seriously recommend you do so. The reel, the the, same, the blue reel that was on that rod, is the same as um, same as this. This is like an unboxing. Ta -da. Last one I had was blue. I had two blue ones, but now I have this uh, kind of goldy green color. I'm not actually sure what color that is. This is like the uh, mid mid range kind of reel, and uh, it is bulletproof. I've dropped it, jumped on it, thrown it, crashed it into rocks, smacked it, banged it, done all sorts to it. The only thing that's ever gone wrong with it is this handle got a little bit of a squeak. I just oiled that up. Good as gold. You probably heard that in some of my videos, it was getting pretty bad, it was like But yeah, sick reel, I've got two of these And uh, yeah, they're just, they're bulletproof Literally bulletproof, they're Gareth proof So they're better than bulletproof because I am notoriously rough on gear You ask anyone that knows me, I just break stuff Third rod, 
kind of in this category and real if you will is uh so yeah this is the cross sx six weight loop cross sx six weight and the opti dry fly reel this reel is even more bulletproof than the uh evo tech this thing is indestructible i've you could you could actually drive a car over it i'm pretty sure and like as you can probably see on mine it's uh this thing has done some miles it's caught a lot of fish and uh it never misses a beat the rod i use what do i use this rod for it's definitely a kind of a general purpose rod i will if i'm going to the tongariro knowing that i'm going to nymph a long way out or something like that then i will i'll take this rod um but then i've got like a 250 grain i think a 250 grain opst head for it or maybe it's 275 i can't remember and also a rio trout max head 250 that's definitely 250 grain and so a single hand spay nymph i mean i don't have a a favorite or a specific application for this the probably closest thing i could tell you is if i'm going to the tongariro to nymph the, in the most classic way you can on the tongariro it's pretty good for that but that opti stream dry fly reel that reel just there that fits across sort of five five seven probably even goes on the eight weight it's really good capacity and size and balance for kind of just fits everywhere the next rod i have is a cross sx same as that six weight i just showed you but it is the eight weight version um, i don't use this rod a whole lot what i have used this rod for is fishing in the canals down in the south island throwing big heavy long leader rigs out into the middle um, done quite a bit of streamer fishing on it as well with the OPST head and then I've even caught kingfish on this rod over in Tauranga I think I actually the only fish I caught down in Collingwood I'm pretty sure was on on this rod as well um, I even throw a nine weight cold water redfish line by scientific anglers so it's another booty booty rod like it handles a nine weight floater easy as it actually feels a little bit better with nine weight than it does an eight you pretty much fish this anywhere this thing's a bit of a beast of a rod in it, but because it's so i don't know i don't use it nearly as much so i use the other three rods that i've i've just shown you now definitely kind of changing categories now now i haven't done a lot of spay fishing or spay casting or skagit or whatever you want to call it two-handed fishing i've done a very limited amount of it but i had a, a pretty successful um successful winter just this one gone it's pretty much the only one i've been doing for but I love it, I can't wait for it to be winter again so I can do it again, it's so much fun. I pretty much never go back to the Tongariro and nymph out in the middle, heavy, you know, never, I pretty much don't do that anymore. And the rod I use for that, the best one I've found so far, is a... Actually, what the frick is this? Loop Evotech cast, 11 foot, 6 weight switch. And on there, I'm pretty sure that's uh, 375 or 350 have a look pretty sure it says on there yeah 350 grain opst commando head on a six weight a limb a limb foot six weight switch seems to go really really well and then the sink tip i have on there is a t8 or the 96 grain bucket tip it's 10 or 12 feet long but yeah this is this is so much fun if you're coming to the tongariro i definitely suggest you get into this rather than nymphing it's just it's sick fun i really can't wait for it to be winter again so i can get back into it uh the reel on there is uh opti rapid these are really these are the new ones from loop and this has got this would be a great reel to get to for this kind of stuff and then also a saltwater reel as well i think it might actually be designed as a saltwater specific kind of reel maybe don't quote me on that but yeah sick reel sick rod i love doing this can't wait to do more of it this winter in fact i think pretty sure there's some pretty cool events coming up this winter down on the Tongariro so keep your eye out for those I'll definitely be talking about them and going to them this winter so I'll see, hopefully see some of you there so as far as saltwater goes this isn't actually the rod I use a lot um, but it's the rod I want to use a lot nine foot nine weight loop evotech cast uh, cold water redfish line by scientific anglers I was talking about this this line on either this rod or the cross s1 cross sw uh saltwater rod nine weight saltwater rod this this line nine weight line and a nine weight rod is magic i love it it's like that's what i want to be fishing all the time um but at the moment the only saltwater rod i have is a 10 10 weight cast rod but i've got no not 10 weight lines left so 
So I'm kind of in between saltwater rods at the moment, but that is definitely what I use and what I would recommend is a nine weight. And if you want a pretty much solid go-to combo as far as line and rod, cold water redfish line and uh, the uh, nine weight loop Evotech cast rod. It's the bee's knees. Opti Strike Reel, this thing's a beast. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I love saltwater fishing, it's so much fun. Okay, well, I feel like that went for a really, really long time because I want to talk about some stuff at the end and I feel like that went way too long and uh, and I probably don't have time. Alrighty. One of the other fairly interesting things or exciting things I had to talk about was um, I've been a part-time trout guide for about four years now. I've been doing it off and on. I've never really... Um, I haven't promoted myself as a trout guide, I've just done overflow work for other guides and then I've done my own work that has come to me through through Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all my social media stuff. You guys hit me up, we organise it, we make it happen, we go out, we catch fish. But I thought I'll make that all official because I want to do it a whole lot more next summer. I don't want to be doing it 100% full time, I've got some other things that I want to be working on as well, some other projects. So I'm going to make it all official with a website which is actually currently live, you can go and visit it, the link will be in the description. If you're planning on coming to New Zealand or you're from New Zealand, hit me up. You can still get at me on Instagram or whatever, it's, it's all the same. But it makes it slightly more official, or people tell me it does if you've got a website and stuff like that. So so there it is, link in the description. It's actually got a shop as well. Now this is very interesting as well. So for the last three or four years I've been selling t-shirts. You can buy them locally here at Taupo Rod and Tackle, or you can buy them just through emailing me and using like direct debit banking or PayPal. But that, that was actually quite time consuming because my wife ended up having to do most of it and um, she didn't like doing it and I'm too useless to post things so so we've got a shop set up on the website so you can buy these on the website the other thing you can buy is one of these now I've got a very limited number second lot in a very limited number of these remaining but if you want one you can now buy on the website I think you can anyway there's a shop I think it works I don't know you tell me <laughs> go and try it if you want if you want one go and try it we'll see if see if it works so, now the other cool thing which I'm pretty excited about is um, now this isn't on the website at the moment and it's not even finished but I'll show you anyway um, but oh sorry maybe I should explain it better I was just standing up there that's my driveway walk down here da -da 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 -da. down here is the door all right so this isn't finished at all but um, well I'll give you the grand tour space down here which is gonna be like a little flat um, this lens probably I can't show you too Put a bed and stuff over there, and maybe a couch or something. I don't know, the wife will sort all that out. Uh, there's gonna be a little kitchenette thing here, and then this is really dark, you probably can't see anything. But there is a shower, there'll be a toilet there, sink there. So, the idea is, the idea is, if you wanna come fishing with me, you can stay here. That's pretty cool. So we can do it all one inclusive thing. We can go backcountry, we can go heli, we can go rafting, we can just go fish the Tongariro, we can go swing some flies, we can go a big hike in the backcountry, you name it, we can do it and you can stay here, crash here. We can drink a beer, we can have a good old merry merry time. It's gonna be sick. So yeah, once that's all finished and up and running, I'll probably just put a link to the, probably the Airbnb page, because it'll be listed on Airbnb, but I'll, I'll, I'll put a link with something on the website and also on the description of the videos, there'll be a link. That is some pretty exciting stuff for me. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is to be a super long video with not a lot of very exciting stuff in it. Let me know if you liked it anyway. Let me know what you did like, what you didn't like, what you want to see more of. You want me to go more in depth into some of that stuff. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here because I feel like this is gonna this is already way too long. Click the links in the description. Go check out the website. Got any recommendations for what I should do, what I shouldn't do on there? Make it better, make it worse. Whatever you want to see. Yeah. That's pretty much it. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like the video if you like the video, comment, love hearing your comments, and uh, we'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.